Hey guys, my name is David. I'm Mercer's husband, and we've had a lot of requests from you guys to show a video of how we actually built our root cellar. A lot of you have probably seen our tour of it, but um, we wanted to do a detailed video on how we built it. So I did take quite a few videos and pictures of the process, so I'm going to kind of put those together for you. And if you have any questions, you can always reach out to us or leave a comment and we will answer whatever questions you might have. So let's get started. So I didn't really have a good video or a picture of the location that we put the root cellar. But you can see here in this video, this is right after we bought the place. And on the left hand side there, there's this dugout in the hill. It's very level. I think they used it to park vehicles or uh, something like that. So I took this picture showing the placement during our house build. The cistern that's there is actually a second cistern we put in. And I don't have a picture of the root cellar from this angle, but we set it right next to it, both in that uh, cutout spot in the hill. So that's the location of the root cellar next to it. So in this clip, it's not related to the root cellar, but you can see them off to the left there. So the one is going to be for cistern, and then the other one for the root cellar. And we put them next to each other because of a couple different reasons, because we had that cut out in the hill, but also because that water will create some thermal heat during the winter right next door to it, so it will hold its heat better. In this video you can see them next to each other and we had started to backfill around them already. This cistern we got for about half price because it wouldn't hold water. You can see it was kind of rough around the edges where it goes together. And so we got it at a discount and then we rented a concrete saw and cut a hole out of the one wall for the door. So here's another view. You can see I started leveling out where the hallway to the root cellar will be. And then also I'm plumbing in the cistern next door and it will come into the hallway also so we'll have access to it out of the wind. So we got most of our wood for our house and then also for the root cellar here which you'll see from this local sawmill. It's just down the road from us and it's one of the oldest sawmills in our area. So here you can see the rough cut wood I was using. These are 6x6 six six, so they're full 6x6 six six dimension. I ran out of fuel for my chainsaw and so I was um, using my little circular saw but anyway so I built these main frames for the hallway. On the bottom you can see I put the beams in between the post and then on the top I put them on top so that's for any pressure coming in the side, the post will hit that bottom beam, and then any pressure on the top uh, will follow through those posts also. So I just used some big leg screws and screwed those together. We had some questions about any special equipment that we use to build the root cellar, and pretty much everything we did could be done by hand, um, but I did purchase my dad's old skid loader that I grew up driving. It's just a little tiny skid loader that can fit through a barn door, and so that was a big help during this process. It's not that you couldn't do it without it, but it makes life a little bit easier. So here I was just kind of leveling out and putting some road base down. It's the gravel with the crushing still in it, so it's got the sand and the, the small particles that help pack it down really good. And so I'm just kind of leveling that out. 
in so I can have a nice level spot to build the hallway to the root cellar. So it was nice to have the skid loader for moving these frames. They could be done by hand, uh, but when you use rough cut lumber, it's generally not dried out or kiln dried or anything like that. So there's still some moisture in the wood and uh, they're fairly heavy. So it was nice to have that to move them around. So next here I just lined up the three frames, leveled them out, and just put some bracings on them to hold them in place. And then you can see here I also brought in some concrete for this last one since it was I didn't quite have the ground level and I needed to come up. But also I added some support um, underneath the posts so they don't they won't sink over time. I don't know if I have very much footage of putting the, I don't know, siding, I guess, or the um, lumber around the frames. So I used rough cut 2x8s or 2x12s or 10s or whatever I had, and I just did that all the way around the frames. Then in this clip, you can see I had completed that and I started backfilling a little gravel in the floor of the hallway there too and I put a couple boards up for 
um, cross supports so the frames didn't lean one way or another. Since this is just rough cut lumber, it's not treated or anything, and we want our root cellar to last a really long time. So I had gotten a really good deal at Menards of just this big pile of steel. It was just a bunch of random lengths, and we used a lot on the house. Uh, but you can see here I put a layer of steel around the outside of that to keep the moisture out. I wanted to build some steps up to the root cellar since it stepped up just a little bit from where our driveway is in between the root cellar and the house. And so here I'm trying to get those level and chip down so they'll fit nice and tight. And then we'll have a nice little step up to the root cellar. In this picture, the bottom left hand corner is the root cellar in that hallway coming out. Now the next part of stacking the rocks up around the entry, I didn't really get any videos of it. It's a process that took about probably a year and we have a lot of rocks on our property but you just got to go dig them out. So anytime I'd have time I'd go dig some out and stack them up and then backfill as I did that. And so here's a few pictures of just that process throughout throughout that time frame. I also built a door for it just out of rough cut lumber and uh, put that on there with some old hinges that we got at a, I think it was an army surplus store in one of our travels. So here's a picture of us dumping backfill and filling in the area. We did another video of the actual tour of the inside and some of the things that we store inside. So I'll have Marissa link that here in the description and so you can check out that video. Uh, there's a few things that I have to do left. I've got to add a little more backfill on the top and uh, I want to get grass planted and stuff like that. So hope you enjoyed this video and like and subscribe to see more. Thanks.